Today is a very special day for me. I received this through the post. As you can see, it's come from the Queen of England. I'm opening it now. And there she is, the beautiful Queen Elizabeth. And inside, she signed it to David and myself, who has been married 60 years today. 1961 we were married let's turn the clock back 60 years that's when you first got married but let's go back even further where did you first meet i was 14 years of age and dave was 15. <laughs> i can see he a smile he used to do a delivery for the court on the shop on the same road i lived I was 20 when I got married. Uh, seems a long time ago, quite a bit. I don't know if I that. <laughs> and now it's 38 is the average age. Well, I find that incredible because uh, I always think that if you get married at 38, you have your children later and they're, they're still at school when you're in the 50s and you don't have grandchildren. And you possibly won't see any great grandchildren the, the, the later you get married. I, I, I very, of the way, I'd prefer to get married younger so that I can enjoy them growing up, as opposed to having young babies in the early fifties. Uh, you earn, you didn't earn much, but you could do more then than what you can now. For example. If my first mortgage was a pound a, a pound a week, which that's all it was, I was earning say twenty seven pound a week in mortgages a pound. That's twenty seven times. Yet today, I've just read in the paper that somebody's mortgage is nine hundred pound a month, and that's twenty seven times that I'd have to be earning twenty eight thousand pound a week in rotation to what we did then. I was 21 when I gave birth to my first daughter, Susan. Two years later, I gave a second daughter, Sandra. Two and a half years later, I was given a beautiful boy, Stephen. When I was 49 years of age, I was given a grandson, Connor. And from then on, I received three more grandsons and one very special granddaughter. Now I have two great, great grandsons, Teddy and Alex. Teddy is seven and Alex is two and a half. And I've been lucky enough to see these children be born and grow up to be parents and loving people. And do you feel those that get married now at 38, 39 wouldn't have that opportunity? Some might say having children that young limits your life opportunities, the opportunities to see the world. How, how do you feel about that? Me? Well, in them days, it, the world was a lot smaller, a lot smaller. The, the, the travel today is, you can go anywhere, anywhere in the world now. 
in our days, it just wasn't the case. Flying, for example, or going on holidays abroad just wasn't the norm then. And uh, it was just happy families. Simple as that. So what do you think has been the key to 60 years of marriage? Understanding, caring, uh, we've both worked all of our lives. I retired at 65, I worked at Manchester University, I raised three children, I helped my daughters raise their children. Unfortunately, again, had to retire early at 53 through bad health. But we worked together. We put everything in. Dave's always done the financial side of things. He'd never gone short. I'd hold this where money's concerned. But I would do the work, cooking, looking after the children, where Dave would do the financial sorting out. We've always had a good house at home. We started off with a terraced house. We moved to a semi detached house and now we've retired to having a lovely two bedroom bungalow. So we've done it together. We've made the, all decisions together. Yes, we have. We've had our ups and downs. We've shouted and screamed at one another, but we've never gone to sleep and having an argument not resolved. So it's through conversation, yeah. dialogue. The commitment. Yeah. We gave a commitment when we got married six years. What do families need to do now to build relationships? Sit down, talk to each other. We always had a rule in our house, even when I was a little girl, that we all had our main meal in the evening together. I sat with my mother, my father, my brother and my sister. And when I had my children, we sat at tea time together discussing what we've done in the day, after the meal, we tidy up, we sit and play games, we go for a walk, we go to the cinema at least once a week, and that. And we did get a television eventually, but then it wasn't all day, it was just evening viewing for two or three hours, and that was it. So 60 years and counting, What's the future hold for Mr. and Mrs. Watson? Happiness, we hope, a lot of love, a lot of care. But I can't drive, so all these electric motor cars that are coming out, they won't be in our lifetime at all. But as long as we've got our family and they're happy, we're happy. We're still in our family. And also, the main thing, of course, is good health. Because without that, you literally can't do anything. <laughs> 60 years of marriage we would expect you to be able to play Mr and Mrs perfectly let's put it to the test who is more organised Red, Grandma, Pat you both agree who is more likely to forget something on a day out you both agree, it's Grandad Dave. Who makes the best cup of tea? Oh, I'm sure, I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm torn here. Uh... You both agree, it's Grandma Pat. Who tells the funniest jokes? Grandad Dave, straight away, both of you. Who would be more likely to shave their head for charity? Both agree, it's Grandad Pat. Uh, Grandad Dave. <laughs> Who enjoys singing most? Oh, it's an agreement, both saying Grandma. Who gives the best advice? Oh, gosh, this is difficult. Oh, we've got a disagreement. <laughs> 